Hello everyone, welcome to another Jashaka desktop tutorial. Today, we are going to learn how to use Jashaka's editor. This will be a quick overview as we will cover other features in a more detailed tutorial. To start in a fresh scene, we are going to click New World over on our Worlds tab. Give your scene a name and click Create World. To navigate your scene, right click and drag. There are two types of view rotations, free loop mode, and orbit mode. You can also middle mouse click and drag to pan your scene. The editor opens with a ground plane and two lights already in the scene. Jashaka comes with a few primitive objects you can add to your scene, but it does not have any modeling or texturing capabilities. You can, however, import 3D objects and entire scenes. Acceptable file formats are OBJ, FBX, and Collada files. From our Asset Browser window, we are going to select the Models folder and click Import Asset. A browser window will open where you can navigate to where you want to import your files from. Select your file and click Open. A thumbnail will be generated for your assets. You can now drag and drop your assets in your scene and arrange them by clicking on the Move, Rotate or Scale tools. You can duplicate an asset by right-clicking on it from the Hierarchy widget and select Duplicate. You also have the option to right click and delete assets or rename the object. There are three types of lights, point light, direct light and spotlight. Check viewpoint wireframe to view the parameters of the light. You can rotate the direct light to redirect its shadow and adjust its intensity. For the spotlight, you can adjust the distance of the cone, spotlight cutoff and softness of the shadow. For the point light, you can adjust the color, the intensity, or the light distance fall off. After your lighting is done, your scene is now ready to be viewed in Jashaka's player. We will cover Jashaka's player in the next tutorial. And that's it for this video. So until next time, thanks for watching.